merchandise next to me, but depicting from the title of this video, of course, that's not what this video is about. This video is about an update of Sammy the Classic Hedgehog at last. I know you guys have been waiting for this for quite a while, but I, creator Sammy the Classic Hedgehog, the Sonic fan character that I made up myself, have at last got a new update for you freaking fricks on the freaking game. I'll be discussing more info on the video game itself, possibilities of future sequels, the possibilities of a comic series, and possibly even merchandise. But anyways, enjoy the update, you guys. <laughs> enjoy. Alright guys, freaking, I got a freaking update for you freaking fricks on Sammy the Classic Hedgehog. Alright guys, so obviously it's been quite a while since I've released an update on this freaking game that I made up. Alright guys, but um, obviously in the previous update I didn't go very much in detail, <coughs> I suppose, but um, I didn't want to spoil too much. But now, I think the time is right to give you freaking fricks a huge update on Sammy the Classic Hedgehog, which is a series that I made up. Alright guys, and I've got news for you on the freaking game that I made up, and news about uh, how this might become a series, and um, what you guys think of it, if you think it's a good idea, and I'll, I'll get to that, alright guys, but until then, let's just freaking, let's just, um, freaking talk about this, I'll give you guys a freaking update on this freaking game that I made up, alright guys, so, as you can see, I've got new freaking art for this freaking game, this is freaking showing, um, Sammy the Classic Hedgehog's backstory, freaking his origins, which I discussed in the previous update, but this freaking shows you what happened, alright, I freaking told you guys about the freaking backstory, one day, I was playing video games, but then I was sucked into a freaking void and freaking mutated into a hedgehog along the way. And my freaking um dog, she was freaking mutated into um a partial elephant, partial dog. Mm, yes, as weird as it, as it sounds, uh. But anywho, yes, mm, I and my dog Macy end up here in the virtual world. Alright, and I'm gonna freaking tell you guys something. I, as long as well as a bunch of other gamers in this game, were abducted by mm, a freaking monster that exists between the real world and the virtual world in this freaking game into the freaking virtual world as part of his plan. And I'll freaking discuss just who that freaking monstrous villain is and his freaking backstory in this freaking video. I didn't freaking do that last time, but I'm going to do it this time. Alright guys, so let's just freaking continue. Alright. So obviously here we have even more art. It's showing Sammy the Classic Hedgehog six transformations in, of in this freaking game. His six main transformations. All right, we've got him in his freaking Mario transformation, his freaking Sonic transformation, his freaking Pac-Man transformation, freaking Link transformation, freaking. 
Olimar transformation and freaking Mega Man transformation. All right, guys. So you unlock those um, as you progress through the game. All right, guys. It's all right. In my opinion, seeing the classic hedgehog is the ultimate hero. All right, guys. He he just because he has the ability to obtain. The powers of other gaming icons. Alright, guys. So, anyways, I also told you freaking guys about how he'll be obtaining um, special items in each um, world that he goes into. Um, that will play um, a prominent role at the end of the game. Mm, it's sort of similar to the pure hearts from Super Paper Mario, how you need them to conquer the final boss, which, as we all know, was Super Dementio, but not in this freaking game, all right? But anyways, so those freaking items, in case you freaking fricks weren't paying attention, were the Rainbow Star, the freaking Chaos Emeralds, freaking... Freaking, you know, freaking golden fruit, freaking Triforce, freaking Pikmin, um, and freaking, um, well, in, in the freaking previous update, I made an error. You won't be, Rush himself won't be tagging along, but, um, Dr. Wily will give you Rush's gear, which Macy will equip. And you'll freaking need that to fight the freaking final boss. So, in other words, one of those um, special items that you'll need to conquer the final boss is Macy herself. But anyways, let's freaking continue, freaking fricks. Alright. So, Hornet Koopa. Alright. And Bowser Man 101. In case you're watching this video, I'd like to make a shout out to you because this is actually you. In um in this game you're supposed to be an anti-hero. You're supposed to be um at times you help me and at times you try to stop me, which um it'll be explained in the game why why um you do that, but keep in mind, Bowser Man 101, you are one of my best friends, and I don't think of you as my rival in real life. You are one of my best friends. Uh, I, I just made you an anti-hero in this game to spice things up, but you're not a villain. You're not a villain in this game, Bowser Man 101, so, don't, and so, um, it, if, even though you may look like a villain, you're not a villain. You're an anti-hero. Alright, guys. So, Hornet Koopa, he has, um, multi-weapon shift, um, um, size shifting horns. He can shift sizes when rolling in his shell. And he has multiple fireball attack arsenals. Alright guys, and um, in the freaking um, game, there will be levels where you have to race Hornet Koopa um, because he's trying to freaking stop you, um, and then eventually in the game you'll have to freaking fight him. But anyways, uh, Bowser Man 101, I, I hope um, you're glad that I added you in this game. I hope you're glad I gave you a role in this game. Um, but anyways, and then as you can see, Chloe the Mouse. Alright guys, I freaking confirmed that Sammy the Classic Hedgehog would have a girlfriend. And she is Chloe the Mouse. And she has an elastic tail which can stretch into just about anything of any shape or size. And somewhat similar to Jake the Dog, except, um... She can do it through her tail. Alright, guys. Uh, but anyways, freaking continue. And then freaking, she's got incredible scent and a high IQ. 
All right, guys. So let's move on to the next piece of art. All right, guys. So as you can see, you're probably wondering, who is that mm, demonic looking villain right there? That, my friends, is Daddy Virus. This was the monster that I was talking about. Um, as you can see, to his right is Dr. Digital. Um, so anyways, he was accidentally created by Dr. Digital, because you see, one day Dr. Digital um, was working on a project um, for a little program that can remove certain bugs from games to... Mm, further perfect games. Um, he can. Um, the project could remove flaws and bugs in the freaking games, and um, and could mm, pretty much make all games perfect. And so, but anyways, um, his project went haywire and started um animating. Um, freaking, freaking models from the virtual world into the freaking real world, and Dr. Drake, um, digital freaking sealed Daddy Virus in the freaking into the freaking um into a freaking universe that's freaking in between the virtual world and the real world, um, which is known as the inter-virtual reality dimension, but, um, Dr. Drake Digital was mortally wounded and had to, um, and he had to transport his consciousness into the frickin', into the frickin' virtual world in order to live on. Alright, guys, but anyways... Daddy Virus, as you can see, he has all of his abilities, abilities listed next to him. Obviously, um, this may hint to you freaking fricks on how you'll be using um, the special items that you collect through the game against Daddy Virus. So anyways, Dr. Drake Digital. Drake M. Digital. Uh, he has a high IQ on video games and scientific processes, of course. He's an inventor, and he's um, dead in the real world, as I've already mentioned, but he lives on through the virtual world. And his lab partner is Chloe, and he created Chloe during his days in the real world. So technically, Chloe is his daughter, and... Of course, he is 36 years old. All right, guys. And then, of course, at the bottom left, you can see Macy, who I refer to as a dog -ifant, who can glide. She can fire out strong gusts of air through her trunk, and she can absorb substances through her trunk and fire out those substance substances through her trunk and of course i freaking explained that she was formerly a beagle but during the warp she was mutated into a dog and elephant hybrid all right guys so freaking freaking i mean I, I, she, she freaking serves as basically Sammy the Classic Hedgehog's Yoshi in the freaking game. That's basically her role in the freaking game. Um, Sammy can freaking ride on her, but, of course, as I explained at the end of the game, she'll play a significant role because, I mean, eventually she equips her freaking Rush gear. Alright. So freaking, alright. So, last but not least, I freaking made a character profile for Sammy the Classic Hedgehog that goes more in-depth with his character. And, obviously, I'm not going to read through all of it, because that would just take way too long. So, 
If you want to, you can pause the video and you can read it and you can freaking learn more about Sammy the Classic Hedgehog and how freaking awesome he is because he's basically the freaking ultimate hero. Oh yeah, and I freaking talk about how obtaining other gaming icons powers won't be his only powers. Alright guys. Of course, I discussed the freaking Wand of Debugification, which you'll freaking, which you'll, I'm deciding, debating whether I'll add it as an item in this game or in a later installment to the Saint of the Classic Hedgehog series. I'm currently debating about that. I'll let you guys decide, but I do know this. Sammy the Classic Hedgehog will have a super form this game, which I'll discuss in a later update. Alright guys, I don't want to spoil everything in this update. But anyways, you can freaking read his character profile. So just go and pause the video and read it if you want. Alright, I'm guessing by now... You're done reading. I uh, also, in the character profile, as you saw, um, talked about how he might journey into other gaming worlds in the future, such as um, Rayman's world, um, frickin' Equestria, um, a frickin' Pokemon, the world of Pokemon, and frickin' more. Alright, guys. And you guys can frickin' tell me in the comments section about what worlds you want Sammy to journey into in the frickin' future. And I can tell you this right now. He's not gonna frickin' journey into your frickin' fricks, frickin' violent, frickin' mature frickin' game worlds. Just frickin' stupid. He's not gonna frickin' do that. Alright, guys. Alright guys, so freaking. Also, I want to hear you guys' opinion. Do you guys think uh, this is a good idea? Do you guys uh, uh, eventually want to see this perhaps not only as a made up video game series, but as a comic series? So let me know in the comments section. And I don't want to see any freaking real comments! It's freaking stupid! I mean, what the frick? What the frick? Don't leave any rude comments, you freaking fricks. You guys are... You freaking trolls are freaking jealous, so you just get the frick out of here. But all my freaking fans... Just freaking... Let me know in the comments section what you guys think about this um, idea. If you'd like to see it eventually as a comic series... So anyways, I think I reveal enough information today. Goodbye, you fricks! Ah, yes, and I almost forgot. I may even make merchandise for Sammy the Classic Hedgehog. And I may even put it on sale. But... The question remains, would that be something you fans would be interested in? But anyways, I believe that ends this freaking video. So long, you guys.